The truly remarkable thing about the H220X all-in-one liquid cooler from SwiftTech is the value. I mean, okay, yes, it's one of the most expensive all-in-one water coolers on the market, but the stuff that you get for your money is phenomenal. The Jazz Mini phone and tablet stand from Cooler Master is now available in a variety of cool colors from these great retailers. Click now to learn more. So let's kick things off with a physical tour. And while we're going through this, I'm gonna have a running total of what it would cost us to build something comparable as like a, a, a DIY liquid cooling kit that you piece together with aftermarket parts. So the included CPU block is the Apogee XL, which features flagship class performance, swappable color plates to match your system, and SwiftTech's fantastic high quality mounting hardware. Connecting it to the rest of the unit is a pair of metal swivel fittings and some black kink resistant 3 8 inch tubing that's secured to the fittings with some really nice metal hose clamps. Onto the rest of the unit we find a significant departure from the traditional AIO approach. Instead of putting the pump on top of the block, SwiftTech has integrated their new MCP30 pump and a basic windowed acrylic reservoir directly onto the copper and brass dual 120mm radiator that will mount in the top of your case. On the radiator, we discover two of SwiftTech's Helix PWM fans that are pre-installed, a nice touch in a push orientation that will require no adjustment if you want to draw air into the top of your chassis, but can be reversed in a couple of minutes if you prefer to use internal case air to cool your water loop and exhaust it. In terms of accessories, SwiftTech includes thermal compound, all the mounting hardware that you need for LGA 1155, 1150, 1156, all that good stuff, extra hardware for Intel LGA 2011 and AMD sockets, and finally, Finally, and this is a really great inclusion, an eight-port PWM fan splitter that uses SATA for power and the CPU header on the motherboard to control speed. So your whole system, the pump is also PWM compliant by the way, can have performance and noise levels adjusted dynamically according to CPU temps depending on how you set up the fan profile on your motherboard. Very, very cool and very intuitive. All right. So some of these things were probably a little bit overkill and actually aren't needed with competing all-in-one liquid cooler designs because of how tightly integrated they are. But the point here is not the base functionality, but rather the fact that you're getting expandability and truly enthusiast class water cooling gear in an AIO. I mean, most all-in-one water coolers are sealed because they need to be sealed. The pumps wouldn't work with more components in the loop or a larger radiator, or the tubing is permanently attached to plastic plastic barbs to save the cost of the fittings and clamps. Not the case here. You can install it out of the box more easily than most air coolers, let alone other all-in-ones, since the, that LGA 1150 hold down and back plate, as well as the radiator fans are all pre-installed. Just screw the fans into the top of your case with the fan screws, apply thermal compound and screw the block onto the back plate. Or you can tear it apart and go to town, adding more blocks, radiators, and what have you, because the components, particularly the pump, have performance to spare. But of course, all of this is a complete moot point if it doesn't perform the way SwiftTech promises, so we're gonna throw it in our test system and let you guys know how it does out of the box. First off, I wanna talk about their awesome little included fan controller. It has to be plugged into the CPU header, and it will only read the RPM of the first fan plugged in. That's the fan that's plugged into the uh, the red capped slot on the PWM fan controller. It will read the RPM of that fan and then distribute power to each different header depending on how that fan is being read. So if you want it giving that fan 100% power, all the fans on the controller will get 100% power. In terms of acoustics, it's actually better than I thought. I was pretty worried about the pump being mounted on the radiator as I thought you would hear a lot of vibration from that. But especially with the Noctua fans installed with their little sound dampening brown rubber grommets on them, there wasn't really that big of a deal. And even with the SwiftTech fans installed, as long as you install it tightly, you won't really notice. The pump is much better than I believe it was on the original H220 and it doesn't make as much of an impact in terms of noise. In terms of aesthetic, I think it looks nice, but due to the looks nice and extra features, you may have problems mounting it in certain situations. I wouldn't worry too much about stuff like motherboard compatibility because the hang off on the radiator is gonna be far away from your motherboard, but I would worry about mounting it pretty much anywhere other than the very top of your case. This probably won't be that big of a deal for you because you're probably going to mount it in the top of your case anyways, 
so this probably doesn't matter, but if you're gonna do something like Linus did in the 4K Ultimate Build Guide and mount it in, say, the front, it could be a problem as you're probably not gonna be able to mount it there in most cases. The tubing will also come to play with compatibility. Again, this isn't nearly as long as the tubing on the original 220, but I kinda like that. The original 220 had some pretty ridiculous tubing length. And this, again, probably will cause issues if you try to mount it anywhere other than the top of the case. But as I see, most of you are probably going to be installing it in the top of the case. It's probably not a huge deal. And I do really like the thickness and flexibility of the tubing at the same time. In terms of performance, we're running our standard test bench, a 4820K with 1.3 volts supplied, running at 4.0 gigahertz, and a 6870 reference card, which will both be running Prime 95 and Combustor respectively. Also, I swapped out the standard fans for Noctua uh, NF-F12s, as we normally do, and it performed Great. I was a little bit worried due to the pump and the, the like flow meter and stuff conflicting with airflow on the radiator, but it didn't seem to affect it that much as the only cooler that beat it was a 2x140mm cooler, which should have. If this beat a 2x140mm cooler, I probably would have redone my testing a few more times. So happy to see it did really well and happy to see it is the successor of the original 220. It's good to see all these high performance parts in one big package. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, hey, can you do me a favor? I'm out of razors. Can you run to the store and grab me some? No, not in my job description. Okay. Um, well, this is a little awkward. When I get back, can you help me shave the spots I can't reach? Definitely not in my job description at all. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess you're fired. Uh, I'll finish up the conclusion here. See ya. That's bullshit, but I quit, so it's cool. He thinks he quit. I fired him. And that, my friends is why you should always use Dollar Shave Club. With Dollar Shave Club, you never have to worry about putting your friends or coworkers in an awkward position by asking them to do something they shouldn't need to do, like going to the store to buy razors. For just a couple dollars a month, Dollar Shave Club delivers high quality razors and other bathroom supplies directly to your door with the deadly precision of a soldier whose gun is pointed the wrong way, which is not very deadly, which is good, because then you'd be dead and you'd never get to try their new post-shave, after-shave, or their new One Wipe Charlies, now in a convenient single wipe size for easy travel or whatever other reason you feel like you might need to carry one peppermint scented butt wipe for you, Mr. Manly Man with a clean anus. Thank you for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment, let us know what you have to say about it. Um, as always, you can check out the support us link in the video description. You can buy a t-shirt, give us a monthly contribution for the forum or just anything else that you feel like helping us out with and change your Amazon bookmarks to one with our affiliate code so that we get a small kickback whenever you buy whatever it is other than razors. For razors, use Dollar Shave Club. Also shave butter, shaving cream and everything.